Okay, this lesson is going to be about uh, accumulating text in a loop, and we're going to do that by accumulating the output uh, within a variable, and then outputting that variable at the end, and that will have uh, the total output. Uh, so you can see what we're going to be doing is taking in boys and girls' names in, in, in the, any particular order, but then when we output them, we'll be giving a list of boys' names and a list of girls' names, uh, and numbering each of those, uh, so it's a nice ordered list. All right, so uh, not too difficult. Uh, what we're going to do is use Visual Logic uh, in order to be able to show you how this works. So allow me to move this out of the way. That's what our output is going to look like. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to initialize the loop. And we're going to do that by saying another name. And we're going to make that equal to yes. So uh, that's initializing the loop because when I put in my loop structure, which is going to be a while loop, the uh, condition I'm going to use is the same one I just finished typing. It's going to be another name equals yes. Okay, and this will guarantee that I'll be entering in uh, the loop without a problem. All right, so there's my initialization. So that's the first step is how do I get into the loop? Second thing I need to know is um, how do I know I'm in the loop, and how do I get out of the loop? So I'm going to do the in the loop and out of the loop at the same one by putting in a input statement, and this input statement is going to allow uh, the user to be able to stop the loop, and we're going to be using another name. So we have to use the same variable that we use to initialize it or get ourselves in to get ourselves out. So again, I'm going to use another name. And I'm going to say, do you have another name? And when they say yes, we go around again. If they said no, then we go ahead and stop the loop. Now before I test it, the next thing I want to do is uh, have let me know that I'm out of the loop. And I do that with an output outside the loop. And I'm simply going to put in here some text done looping. And it seems kind of silly that I'm doing it, but it saves students an awful lot of heartache. Cause a lot of times they'll build the whole thing and then say, Mr. Bray, I can't understand why it's not accumulating stuff. And what happened was they did initialize it correctly, and then the, they didn't know that um, it had never gotten in. With the done looping, when I start, if I after I type in, well, and once I hit start, if done looping pops up, I know I didn't get in. If another name comes up, then I know that I'm inside the loop. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and test it. And you should be testing and going as you go. Uh, so it asks me, do you have another name? And if I say yes, it goes around again and asks me again. If I say no, now it changes what is in another name from yes to no. And I should see then done looping, which I do. And now we're done. All right, so we took care of the biggest problems that students have. That is getting in the loop, knowing they're in the loop, getting out of the loop, and knowing they're out of the loop. All right, so the first thing we have to do is go ahead and get some inputs, because we need to know um, by input what is the name of the person or the, the child's name that's being entered. So I'm going to put in here child name, and I'm going to ask what is the child's name? Question mark. Whoops. Question mark and close quote. And then I also have to ask what the gender is because that's how I'm going to know whether it's going to be put into the boy name stack or the girl name stack. So this one's going to be called gender. And I'm just going to ask boy or girl question mark and now they know what to type in either boy or girl all right so if I um, if I wanted to go ahead and run it it'll ask me the child's name and I'll say Tom and I'll say he's a boy and is there another name and I'll say no done looping uh, and we're done all right so that gave us how we got in 
how we get out and the start of our thing. Our next one, we're going to start cre actually creating the decisions and going ahead and stacking up those names.